Good morning everybody. Guten Tag. How do? Hope you're well. Hope you've had a really good Christmas. Got spoilt rotten, ate lots of food, and had a damn good drink. And hope your family and friends are well. Yes, it's Thursday morning. It's just coming up to 10 o'clock. We're gonna have a bit of log cabin action, episode 18. And then I'm gonna go on to my new woodland camp and continue some building on there later on this afternoon. I'm glad you clicked on the video. Hope you enjoy. I'll bring you back as and when. And here we are, we're back at camp. There's a log cabin there in the background. Looking epic. No one's been down. You can always tell when someone's down because something's been moved out of the way or they've left some rubbish. But yeah, no one's been down since last Thursday. So yeah, we're going to continue building on that roof. Just having a walk around camp now. See any folks changed? No, don't look like it. I think some wood's fallen out of there. I don't think anyone's burnt any though. I think we've had another tree come up over there. Sound. I think first things first though. I'm gonna have to get a fire on the go to get a, a brew. I am parched. Hmm. This stolen cooks really good. So, hope you all had a really good Christmas. I enjoyed it. A good time, plenty of family time. My kids enjoyed it, they loved everything they got. Just a shame I had to take them home, really. Little creatures. So yeah, we're down in the woods again. I'm not working again until New Year's Eve. So, I woke up this morning, got changed, did a quick uh, shop, got some milk, got some uh, pastries, and I was down here for just after 10. So yeah, like I said, I'm gonna continue with that roof. I'm gonna get some uh, more chicken wire on uh, the far side, and then uh, cover it in leaves. I'll throw some more leaves on this side as well. I'm also going to have to get some more pine cones at some point. We seem to have got to a, a lull in the building process. We seem to have just got to a point where we don't seem to be getting very far at the moment. So we've, we've been on roof for a, a good matter of weeks now. It's, um, yeah, it's just uh, time allowed, you know what I mean? It's, uh, everyone works and However many hours we've got, you can't really do right much in the dark. I mean, we have headlights and everything, but it's just not the same. You need using chicken wire and doing something like the roof where you need it to be, you know, built well and uh, waterproof. You need to be able to see what you're doing, really. So that's why I've come down early this morning, so I'll get some stuff done on that. Then this afternoon, a bit later on, I'm going to go to my woodland camp and uh, I'll show you around there and I'll do a bit more building on that as well. So, two bills for the price of one, really. Well, there we go, I snipped that off there. And as soon as I take them logs off, it's just gonna wanna roll in on itself. So I'll uh, try and spin it around so it grips onto the roof and helps me out a bit. First, let's put stuff out of the way so we don't lose it. Oop. 
Yeah, these uh, log stores doing all right, and so is the uh, the wood in uh, the first shelter. But everything else is just damp and it's proper proper wet. So a bit smoky, really. It's hard work looking these tacks in. So small. This is where we're at at the moment. I've just uh, tacked it on there as you can see. Further down, I'm not bothered about that. It's embedded enough so we're alright. Down to here. Where are we? There we go. And on there. And tacked under there as well. Does it work? There we go. Just needs tidying up a little bit. I'm pulling more torque going on there. So I've left a bit more of a overhang on this side than I did on the other, just so I can have a bit more to play with. Because I might have to end up taking that off again on there. I don't really want to, but I might, or I might make a bucket out of the chicken wire just to extend it a bit. But this side of the cabin is a little bit longer. Because I'm looking at it thinking, hang on a sec, why aren't the chicken wire exact? But yeah, this side is a little bit longer. My own fault, the way I built it, but I'm not an architect or a builder, I don't, so. <laughs> it together really well didn't throw it together but you know what I'm saying but it's looking all right and then just one more length of chicken wire I really need Paul's height really to get that on top of there because we're gonna have to uh, tuck all the edges in so it's all tucked in nicely and uh, no sharp edges sticking out I did actually uh, punch for a little hole with the sharp edge of the tarp don't know if you can see it uh, there just that tiny little thing there I'm not overly bothered by that because it's in the little foyer thing here. I'll get a bit of tape and tape that up. So yeah, that's where we're at at the moment. This is where we're at now. This is all tacked down. I've tacked it all underneath here as well. All around here. And all that. It's all tacked in here, so what I'm gonna do is it's gonna chill for a five minutes and then I'm gonna snip these off here because we don't need all this overhang. Tidy it all up. And I'm gonna throw some leaves on. Paul should be down in about half an hour I reckon. I've just he's just been in touch. And then uh, we're going to get off to the woodland camp. Paul's not seen it, so we're going to have a gander at it, do some building. Camp life, eh? You can't beat it. Just, it's been so, I mean, I've been busy, I've been doing the roof, and I've, I haven't stopped really since I got here, but it's just so calming. It's, Apart from the hum of the motorway, <laughs> which you probably won't be able to see on the camera, but you can see right through the trees, the M62. That stretch of motorway there is notorious for accidents. There's probably about three or four accidents on that stretch every single week. Don't know why it's not that hard to drive, really, is it? <laughs> Fools. <laughs> so, yeah, just having a couple of minutes breather. Paul's on his way down. I'm just going to uh, get this fire up again, let it burn out, finish what I need to do on roof, and then we're going to go on to woodland camp. <coughs> right, I'm going to 
tidy all this up down here now. Snip it off so we don't have loads of all around. Right, Paul's just come down, so I'm just going to finish this off, get some leaves thrown on it, and then we're going to go up to the woodland camp. It's all snipped off and tidied up down this side. Now we're going to get some leaves on it. And this is what we've done. Covered it. It's not hurt. it's not all covered, but it'll do for now. All the chicken wires all tidied up and ready to add any bit any more bits added to it if needs be. And all this side done as well. It's looking alright. There's no build up of the water on these rafters, no little pools or anything. It's all running off. Alright, we're heading out now. Been down here about four and a half hours. Got some decent work done on that roof of the log cabin. And now we're going to go up to the uh, woodland camp. If you got this far, hope you stay with us with the woodland camp build. See you soon. Here we are back at the woodland camp. Everything's just like I left it. All the walls are still up, nice and sturdy. So we're going to concentrate over here, get that filled in. And another little wall here as well. Nice. So all this wood here, we've been throwing down from the top of the hill. It's snapped up into decent pieces really. Pieces we can use for wall. Save us having to sew.
second. This wall's now finished off, just getting some uh, some posts in here, so I can just strengthen it a bit, then we're going to come down this side. So, just beveling these edges so they don't all mushroom out when I'm hitting it in. So I'll just give you a bit of an update of what's been going on at the moment. Finish this wall off here. I've just been sorting some stakes out and starting this wall here. I've been filling the gaps with little uh, twigs as well, little sticks. Don't know if you can see, a couple there. Uh, wedged them in. Now this wall is done. I'm not bothered about them gaps, I'm going to fill it all with moss. Just built it up a bit there. Just want to get it done, I'm not, I'm not bothered about it looks, it's fine as that. Finish that wall as well. I've also got a massive stone for the base of my fire. Not read quite a bit to get that here, but I did. So 
So what I'm going to do is now I'm going to build all the way around the edges here. Build it up so we've got a nice big fire. I can't see me needing anything bigger than that for the space that we're in. So I'm round the front of the camp now, so I'm going to show you what I did. Got these uh, two stakes here, one stake here, one either side. This is the wall built up here. And again, around the back there. I'm just pulling up bits of moss up around here. Just filling in the gaps that I've got in the, in the wall. Get a bit of leaf and twig in there as well. There's moss all around here, so I think I'll definitely uh, be mossing the walls. <clears throat> I think I'm going to move the uh, fireplace just over a little bit. Just move it over a few inch. Just then, because then if I do that, I can get one tent in that side and one tent in this side, both facing the fire. So yeah, I think it would be ideal doing that. Right, I've moved the uh, the plate and the stone over, only a couple of inch, just to make it a bit more level, when I can now fit two tents in here perfectly, at an angle, facing the fire, with a bit, bit of room in the front. So, probably the next time I'm going to be down, I'm going to carry on filling in the gaps with moss. I'm going to leave that gap down there because I can have little candles down there, filling all these gaps. And then I might change that, put a bit more of a slope on it, and uh, yeah, fill it all in with moss as well. I'll cut all them down as well so it's all level. And put moss all along the top. I'll start putting it across the top there. If you can just see on that log. Well, I was going to go about an hour ago, but I got involved in a bit of moss. So, all this wall here, all the gaps are filled in. I've gone all the way across the top, filled in that massive gap there that I had with moss. I'm coming all over here. All this wall's filled in. I've just started on this wall over here. I couldn't help myself. I had to start along here as well. Right across in front of the metal plate to there. Filled in these gaps. And all the way down here as well. I've just cut the end of these six stakes that I had holding up the fence. Two here, two there, and another two there. Just cut them off, and I've put uh, moss all the way across. So we can try and get a total moss wall going on all the way around here. I've, I've even better start on this side as well. Right then, if you stuck with me all the way through this, for this morning's build and this afternoon's build, Thank you very much, it means a lot, really thank you so much. So today, last recap, I moved the, uh, the, the street, uh, I can't speak, I moved the sheet steel over a few more inch, I've got half for the fire as well. I filled in these walls, this wall here, with moss, I built this wall, and I built this wall as well. All moss, every single gap, and all the way across the top of the wall as well. I have started on this wall, I'm going to do that next time I come, but I'll probably change this wall to put a log underneath there and get a bit more of a slant on it, so I can uh, either lie under there or just use it as a log store. Right then everybody, this is me, I'm heading home now, I've been out since, uh, down at camp since 10 this morning, really good productive day, I've really enjoyed myself, if you stuck around for the, all this set, Hey up, if you stuck around for all this uh, film, thank you very much, means a lot. Right, I'm going to sign off. Thank you very much everybody, thanks for the support, it means a lot. I'll see you again on the next one, take care now, bye bye then.